Ah, okay, okay. Arya, you also looks like you also got the answer as one. Okay, we'll come back to you because Ronak wanted to share. Ronak, go ahead. Yes, sir. Sir, I okay, first. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I first uh, squared on both the sides uh, okay. to remove the square. Uh, square. Uh, okay. So why then, did you square? Why did you square? What was the reason why you squared it? Sir, because when we uh, there is square root, and if we square it, square root into square root is, sir, the uh, means it is the number inside the bracket. Square Correct. Root bracket. Correct. Okay, so very good. So let, let's quickly learn quick things. These are very fundamental, but it's my duty to explain to everyone. Whenever we have root of x to be something like, say, for example, root x is 1. So we square it. Now when we square it, let's see what happens. So let's assume you have root x is equal to 1 is an equation or, you know, something like, let me change this for a moment. I'll give you a chance, Rona. Don't worry. Okay. So let's assume we have an expression root x minus 1 is equal to 0, right? So whenever, you know, one of the fundamental things that I want all of you to understand, whenever you are solving, whether you are solving a linear equation or a, in future a quadratic, in, you know, when you have a situation where you have rational number and irrational numbers, like, you know, this looks more like an irrational number or something like a third. So whenever you find something like something in root, and something without a root, it's always better to separate them. For example, you can write this as root x is equal to 1. Okay, so you have root x is equal to 1. Now, when we have root x is equal to 1, now root x, we don't know what's the value of x, so we are trying to square it. The reason we square it is by squaring it, that means squaring on both sides. That's the language that people use for squaring on both sides. Now, when you are squaring, what do you mean by that? That means, say, for example, you have, uh, say, for example, your 1 is equal to 1. If I square it, 1 square will be 1 and 1 square will be 1. If we have 2 is equal to 2, if I square it, 2 square is how much? What do you mean by 4? 4. Four. 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 So the value becomes 4 and on the right hand side, 2 square is 4. So by squaring the numbers, the value doesn't change in an equality. So we are allowed to do. So what I'm trying to tell you here is, are we, are we allowed to do squaring on both sides? That's something that everyone needs to know. Yes, we are allowed to square, but there's a problem. We'll learn the problem later. For the moment, are we allowed to square? Yes, we can square yes, the numbers, right? So for example, we have 3 is equal to 3. We know 3 is equal to 3. By squaring on left-hand side, 3 nine. squared how much? 9. And this 3 squared is also 9. So basically, you are allowed to square. So your root x is equal to 1. When I square root x, when I square root x, what do you mean by that? Root x multiplied with root x is equal to 1 into 1. So basically, root x into root x is how much? What is root x into root x? If you don't want to understand this way, basically, another way to look at it is you are squaring root x. That means root x is squared. Similarly, 1 is squared. X. So by squaring, what happens? Root x basically is x to the power of 1 by 2. x to the power of 1 by 2, when I square it, you're basically, your 1 square is anyways 1. x to the power of 1 by 2 whole to the power of 2. That reminds me of a very small fundamental we have learned already in life. That is, if a power m whole power n is always equal to a, a power to mn. mn. So whenever we are learning fundamentals, I know it will be slow. But it is for the importance of the entire class, I'm discussing these fundamentals. So x power 1 by 2 whole square is equal to 1. What is x power 1 by 2 whole power n? So that will be x to the power of 1 by 2 multiplied with 2 is equal to this side, it's 1. So your 2 into 2, that gets cancelled. So you have x power 1. So what is x power 1? x power x. 1 is 1. So what is x power 1? Another way to write x power 1 is x is equal to 1. So that's how we, we got this. So the same logic can be applied here. Continue, Ronak. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Then it will be x minus 0 0.96 is equal Very to good. 1 upon 25. Very good. So what Ronak did is he squared this. That means root of x minus 0.96. He squared this. And what did you do on the right hand side, Ronak? Sir, I squared 1 upon 5. That one is upon 1 upon 25. Very good. 1 upon 5 also is squared. 
So what happened on the left hand side? Sir, x minus 0.96. So the root, the root will get cancelled whenever you have a square root and a square. So always remember root of x whole square will always give you x. Root of apple. So let me change the color and write it for you. Let me change the color for a moment. Always, if you have root of apple, root of apple whole square will always give you apple. Root of donkey whole square will always give you donkey because square and square root gets cancelled. Technically, that will give you one. Okay, what did you, what you did not understand, Akshat? Um, sir, the uh, sir, where you uh, after you like. You can you repeat? Root can you be a little louder, uh, Akshar? Okay, uh, sir, can you hear me? Uh, Ronak, uh, if you can keep yourself in mute for a moment when uh, Akshat is speaking. Go ahead, Akshat. Sir, I didn't understand from where you wrote uh, root of x minus 1 is equal to 0. I still don't understand. No, no. No, no, that I just took as an example. I assume root x minus 1 is equal to 0 as an example and explaining it. It is nothing to do with this question. Yeah, but how did you get uh, root x is equal to 1? Okay. Root x minus 1 is equal to 0. If this minus 1 goes on the right hand side, what happens to that minus 1? It becomes plus 1. So that's how it has become root x is equal to 1. Then, so how is uh, root, uh, 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 root x into root x is to 1.1? 1 .1? Okay, so I'm, I'm doing squaring on both sides. I am doing squaring on both sides. That's what I was trying to explain. If I square a number on both sides, they will continue to be equal. If I have 2 is equal to 2, if I do 2 square, it is 4. If I do 2 square, that is 4. So 4 is equal to 4. If I square 3, it is 9. If I square 3, once again, it's 9. So when we have two equalities, whenever you have apple is equal, say, for example, some, some expression apple is equal to mango. Let's assume we have apple is equal to mango. So if I, if I know apple is equal to mango, apple square will always be equal to mango square. Did, did you understand this point? Yeah. What did you understand? Explain. Uh, so uh, the squares or numbers remain same. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, Apple. Arya, uh, please keep yourself in mute. Akshat is trying to speak. Give him some time. Arya, please. Uh, Akshat, go ahead. Apple is equals to mango. So uh, Apple square is equals to mango square. But Brilliant. It doesn't Brilliant. So what does that mean? It means whenever you square on both sides, the value will, whatever the values are, that will be equal. If apple is equal to mango, apple square will be equal to mango square. So I'm trying to explain how, you know, generally teachers will tell you squaring on both sides. What I'm trying to teach you is you are allowed to do squaring on both sides. Why? I've given you for some examples here. I'm giving you some examples to prove that by squaring, the values will continue to be equal. Yeah. Do you understand I that? I understood that. Good. Now, what I did is the square root of x, I am squaring it. Forget about this step for a moment. Just forget this. Now, root of x whole square. What is root of x whole square? I'm, I'm simplifying that. Root of x can be written as x to the power of 1 by 2. You understand root x is x to the power of 1 by 2? Yes, sir. So x to the power of 1 by 2 whole square. So x to the power of 1 by 2 whole square, x to the power of 1 by 2 multiplied with 2. Because we have learned in basic schooling, in indexes as a chapter, you might have learned a power m whole power n is a power mn. Did you learn this? Yes, sir. Therefore, x power 1 by 2 into 2 is x power 1. So x power 1 is equal to 1. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. So, yeah, Ronak, let's come back. Yes, sir. Sir, so sorry what, for what, keeping what I was the trying mind. to explain was root x of root x whole square will always be x. Root of apple whole square will always be apple. Root of donkey whole square will always be donkey. Yes. Okay. Yes. So now continuing that now root yes. of something whole square. Can I say that will be nothing but the same thing now? Yes, yeah. sir. X minus 0. 0.96. 
Sir, are you able to hear me? Yes, yes, Arya. You are frozen. You you want to say something, Arya? Yes, sir. You are frozen. On my screen, it shows that you are frozen. Uh, is it? What about yeah. others? Others, no, are sir. you okay? Can you see me properly? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your okay. your screen, sir. I can see you, but the screen is frozen, sir. Th like, that's okay, Arya. Let's focus on the class. Don't mind. Yeah, yeah. So, Rona, go ahead. Sir, is equal to one upon twenty-five. Is equal to one upon twenty-five. Very good. So, what do we do after that, Ronak? Sir, then we uh, x is equal to one upon twenty-five plus zero point nine six. Sir, okay. We so x is equal 25. x is equal to one upon twenty-five. One upon twenty-five. And what did we do? This minus point nine six. If minus yes. point nine six, if it is transposed, that the word that we use is transposed. If we transpose this minus 0.96 on the other side, what happens to it? It becomes plus. plus. This minus of 0.96 will become plus of 0.96. Very good. Therefore, now what happens to x? X is equal to now 1 by 25. Do you know how to calculate 1 by 25? Yes, sir. What is the value of 1 by 25? 0 0.4. Yes. If you do the proper, no, is it 0 0.4 or 0 0.04? Sir, 0 0.04. Sorry, sir. Yeah, it is 0 0.04. Now, how do you get it? 1 by 25. People who do not understand 1 by 25, let me do it quickly for you. 1 by 25. When you divide, so can you divide 1 by 25? No. So you put a point there. By putting a point, what do you do? You introduce a zero here. So 10 by 25. So can you divide 10 by 25? No. You take another zero. Then you have here zero 100 divided by 25 is how much 25 ones are 25 fours are therefore it is 0 0.04 i hope everyone knows yes, how to divide yes sir yeah arya uh, switch off the video video is not needed oh okay sir i accidentally did it yeah, yeah. so 1 by 25 is 0 0.04. Anyone who doesn't understand this, please tell me so that we can learn that also quickly. 0 0.04 plus 0.96. So if you add them, what will be the value? Therefore, x will be equal to how much now? x will be equal to 1. Yeah, x will be equal to 1. Okay. Brilliant. 